It was a sober movement as tears and weeping trailed parents, friends and relatives of the slain abducted 300 level students of Greenfield University at the funeral service in honor of Dorothy Johanna. The burial held at Equa Goodness Church in Chicken local government area of Kaduna State. Dorothy Johanna was among the four set of three students who were murdered by their abductors. Speaking at the funeral service, pastor of the church, Reverend Dr. David Giet, urged the residents to extol her virtue, as he described her as a humble, patient, and obedient girl in her service to God and humanity. The father of the late student, Johanna Meck, called on the government to be proactive in its driver and finding a lasting solution to the problems of insecurity bedeviling the state and Nigeria at large. Government should be proactive. They should not just keep quiet. They should be proactive to help the situation because it's getting out of hand. The vice chancellor of the Greenfield University, Professor John La, sympathizes with the families of the kidnapped students and those that have been killed. When this happened, it was a challenge to us. It was painful. Uh, we've made spirited effort uh, to ensure that we settle the matter and preserve their life. But it was not meant to be. And today, we're here for the retirement. And we're trusting God that all will be well thereafter. A 200-level international relations student at the Greenfield University, Jesse Jackery, who managed to escape, described the act as traumatic and unforgettable, as the kidnappers carted away six boys and 16 girls to unknown destination. Dorothy, actually, was someone that she never looked for trouble from anybody. She was just on her own. She was quiet and kind. That was little I knew about her. Also, Josephine, a sister to Darcy, narrated how they got the news of her abduction. In that same day, we spoke. She was like, even during their anniversary, by God's grace, all of us will be strong. We'll snap with our children. Josephine, how far? They kidnapped my auntie you, and some other girls in the school. I was not like to say lie, but he said some girls escaped like a girl or a man. The abductors have killed five of the students, demanded 800 million naira as ransom from the government before the students will be released. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.